one iPad. This is only an old school iPad one. And therefore, I don't, it does work with the iPad 2. I don't suppose this is going to fit in while in its case, is it? Oh, amazingly, yes, it just about does. That's good, because taking an iPad 1 out of its case is a horrible, horrible exercise. Not necessarily very secure, but then I'm not going to leave it there. That's too much of a problem. Um, right. Go to... Settings, General, Bluetooth, and turn it on. It is on. Hold down the bottom four buttons and the top white button simultaneously for four seconds, then release. Slot will flash. On iPad, tap Ion Game Controller. Ion IK Game Controller, there it is, not here. Enter the pin code 8624 using the control mapping shown here, which is... Press the white button on IK. Appearing unsuccessful, I probably glitched on moving the joystick. Okay, let's try it again. 9965. 9965. Enter. Connected. Right. Now we should be able to just play a game. And nothing. Actually, hang on, it is apparently receiving a light signal, but it's ignoring it. And it's not the case interfering with the Bluetooth signal, because it worked on when I tried it on notes. It is actually sending messages. Hang on a second. A, 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 that's not the normal... That's not the normal things one of these sends. Oh, the keyboard layout. Okay, you see, on um, when I use a um, when I use a Bluetooth keyboard, I use the Vorjack layout, and it's obviously decided that it wants to use that. Uh, so yeah, choose a hardware keyboard internet. Let's say US International, and done. And notes. Is it now going to start sending different characters? Yes. Why would they make it? respect the keyboard layout. That makes very, very little sense. Um, right, so we might actually get a bit more joy this time. Right, so let's try Atari again. Continue. That's better. So that works. Greatest hits. Bit cold comfort there, but I wish they take out this bloody irritating music. So yeah, if I put as a minter fan, I suppose I have to play some Tempest. Ah, it's landscape. Now they did actually show the iPad being used in landscape mode on one of these, I suppose you have to lay it like that. But on the other hand, I think if you go into settings on here, you can change it. Settings... Oh, it's, for some reason it's a control layout. Portrait, there we go. Well, 
a bit ironic to be using this for a game that was originally supposed to be controlled using a dial, but... Oh, that's nice. Only slightly hanging by the fact I suck ass at Tempest, but there we go. So yeah, I'm impressed. I should be more impressed when the patch for GoTup comes out, because that's an awesome game. But I'm impressed. And yeah, I guess that's probably about it. So thank you.